Assalamualaikum everyone, how are you today? Hopefully you are doing okay today. In this video, I will discuss structure equations of the TOEFL test again, namely problems with article. Do you know article? Article consists of two, ada e, ada de. So, without any further ado, let's begin our discussions. The first topic we will discuss is use articles with singular nouns. From this picture, we can learn that e and n will be used only with countable singular noun. Meanwhile, de can be used with countable singular and plural nouns. Also, de can be used with uncountable noun. Again, a singular noun must have an article, a, an, or de, or some other determiners such as my or each. A plural noun or an uncountable noun may or may not have an article. Let's study this example. I have coffee. The noun is uncountable coffee. Tidak bisa dihitung kan coffee. That is why it is okay for us to not use a or the. Karena ini uh, uncountable, maka kita boleh tidak menggunakan artikel apapun. I have coffee. And then next, I have books. In this sentence, the noun is plural. Books, ada S-nya tuh ya. So, it is okay to not use a or the. Jadi, kalau kata bendanya plural, kita juga diperbolehkan untuk tidak menggunakan artikel apapun. I have books. And then the next example, I have a book. And then I have the book. In the last two examples, the noun is singular. Namely, book. Gak ada S-nya, berarti singular. We have to use article with singular noun. We can use a or the. Jadi, kalau kata bendanya jamak lebih dari satu, kita bisa pakai the. Kalaupun kita tidak menggunakan artikel, yaitu boleh aja. It is okay. Gak pakai ya gak apa-apa. Kalau kata bendanya jamak lebih dari satu. Tapi, jika kata bendanya tunggal cuma satu nih, maka wajib hukumnya untuk memakai artikel. Kita bisa pakai e, kita bisa pakai n, kita bisa pakai de, tergantung kebutuhan. Oke, okay? clear ya? Let's identify whether the sentence is correct or incorrect. Number one, there is car in front of the building. This sentence is incorrect. Why? Look at the noun car. It is singular. And singular noun must use article a or the. So the correct one is there is a car in front of the building. Car kan singular. Cuma satu tuh tunggal. Berarti harus pakai artikel. Kita harus pakai a di situ. Gak boleh enggak. Oke. Okay? The number two. Can you hit a water, please? This sentence is incorrect. Why? Please look at the noun, water. It is uncountable, tidak bisa dihitung. And then, uncountable noun cannot use article a. Tidak bisa pakai a kalau tidak bisa dihitung kata bendanya. It should use the. So, the correct one is, can you hit the water, please? Oke. Okay? The second topic we will discuss is distinguish a and an. The rule is that a is used in front of a word that begins with a consonant sound. And then an is used with in front is used in front of a word that begins with a vowel sound. For example, an apple. Apple kalau kita baca kan Bunyi huruf awalnya itu adalah huruf E. Apple, ya kan? That's why we use an. Kenapa kita pakai an? Karena bunyinya huruf vokal. E. Apple, gitu kan? And then a woman. Woman, kalau kita baca nih, bunyi huruf awalnya adalah huruf konsonan W. Huruf konsonan W. That's why we use a. Oke? Okay? The next. A university. University nih, kalau kita baca, bunyi huruf awalnya itu huruf konsonan W. Eh, sorry, huruf konsonan Y, Y. 
Nah, itulah kenapa kita menggunakan e di sini karena bunyi huruf awalnya itu adalah konsonan y. Next, an hour. Hour, kalau kita baca bunyi huruf awalnya itu adalah huruf vokal a. Nah, itulah mengapa kita pakainya n karena bunyi huruf awalnya huruf vokal yaitu a, hour gitu kan. Nah, itu cara dan konsepnya. Tentang penggunaan E dan N Again E is used in front of a singular noun with consonant sound Jadi kalau kata benda huruf awalnya itu berbunyi konsonan kita pakai E Meanwhile, N is used in front of a singular noun with a vowel sound Dan N itu digunakan kalau kata bendanya itu huruf awalnya itu berbunyi apa vokal vowel oke okay? be careful of nouns beginning with h or u they they may have a vowel or consonant sound yang harus kita hati-hati itu adalah kata benda yang awalnya huruf h dan u gitu ya h itu kayak hour tadi itu meskipun huruf h konsonan tapi bunyinya ya vokal gitu oke okay. hopefully it's clear for you So that's the concept of a and an. The next, let's identify this sentence. An signature is required wherever you see a X on the form. This sentence is incorrect. Do you know what's the problem? There are actually two problems here. First is an signature. Signature, kalau dibaca bunyi huruf awalnya itu huruf konsonan S. That's why we must use a, bukan an. Kemudian yang kedua, the second problem is a x. X kalau dibaca bunyi huruf awalnya adalah huruf vokal yaitu e. X ya kan? That's why we use an. Harusnya kita pakai an. Alright, hopefully it's clear for you. The third topic we will discuss is make articles agree with noun. Let's identify this sentence. Let's study with this example. You should never use a or an with a plural noun. Then the is used with plural and singular noun. Jadi, a dan an itu tidak digunakan dengan kata benda jamak yang lebih dari satu. Okay? Sedangkan the, the itu fleksibel. Bisa kita pakai untuk kata benda tunggal. Bisa juga kita pakai untuk kata benda jamak. Oke, okay? hopefully it's clear for you. Let's identify these two sentences. She must call a members of the group. What's the problem in this sentence? Remember, jangan pakai e atau n untuk plural noun. In this sentence, the noun is plural. Members, itu ada s-nya ya, we can see. So, to revise this sentence, kita bisa pakai the atau tidak memakai artikel sama sekali. Therefore, the correct one is she must call members of the group. Itu bisa atau she must call the members of the group. Itu juga boleh. In addition, dari soal ini kita bisa belajar satu hal baru. Kalau jadi kalau ada noun of noun, kita fokusnya ke noun pertama. Jadi untuk tahu plural atau singular dari members of the group ini Fokusnya ke noun pertama yaitu members Itulah kenapa noun ini plural jamak karena members ada S nya Oke okay? Number two He could not give me a good reasons for what he did What's the problem in this sentence? Remember jangan pakai e atau n untuk plural In this sentence, the noun is plural Good reasons We can see ada S-nya ya So, to revise this sentence Kita bisa pakai the Atau tidak memakai artikel sama sekali Therefore, the correct one
Harusnya e yang digunakan di sini. Why? Because the noun is general. We don't know which piece of paper that the speaker talk about. Kalimat yang tepat adalah I need a piece of paper. Karena piece of papernya itu general, kita tidak tahu piece of paper yang mana, makanya kita pakai e, oke? Okay? Finally, we come to the final parts of this video, namely the exercises. Your job is to identify whether or not the sentence is correct. Number one, he took a money from his wallet to pay for sweater. Is it correct or incorrect? What do you think? If you analyze this sentence very carefully, you know that this sentence is incorrect. Kalimat ini salah karena penggunaan artikel e. Coba kita lihat nounnya, yaitu money. Look at the noun money. It is uncountable, tidak bisa dihitung. And uncountable noun cannot use article e. It should use the. So the correct one is he took the money from his wallet to pay for sweater. Next, the notebook that he left had a important assignment in it. Is it correct or incorrect? What do you think, everyone? Well, if you identify this sentence deeply and carefully, you know that this is incorrect. Kalimat ini salah. Kenapa? Karena penggunaan artikel e. Okay. Look at the noun. Important assignment. Important assignment kalau dibaca bunyi huruf awalnya itu adalah huruf vokal i. Important. That's why we must use an. So that the correct sentence is the notebook that he left had an important assignment in it, okay? And then the last, the appearance of room could be improved by adding a green plants. Is it correct or incorrect? What do you think? Well, if you analyze this sentence with all your heart and very carefully, you know that this is incorrect. Kalimat ini salah karena penggunaan artikel e-nya. Let's see the noun. Green plants. Kita fokus ke nounnya dulu nih. Green plants. Oke. Okay. And it is plural. Ada S-nya tuh ya. And plural cannot use artikel e. It should use the atau tidak pakai artikel sama sekali kalau mau. So, the appearance of room could be improved by adding the green plants. Itu baru benar. Atau, the appearance of room could be improved by adding green plants. Oke, okay. hopefully it is clear for you and you can understand everything that I have presented in this video. That's all everyone for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.